Hey guys, welcome back. I am coming on to do a layout to play along with my She's Crafty kits where I took apart all kinds of kits and I refashioned them into something that might be a little bit interesting. So that's what I have. I've got a few papers. I've got a Cardabella, kind of a cardstock vibe. You know, it's all one color. I've got a piece from 49 and Market, vintage artistry everywhere. And then I've got some scraps, scrappy scraps of very summery looking things, a couple of pieces from a paper pad. And let's see, oh, some Vicky Booten cute little travely pieces. I've got some fruit pieces, enamel dots, sequins, oh, but wait. <laughs> then I have got some thickers, wood pieces, acrylic pieces, a cup or four uh, photo corners and some doilies. So I've got plenty to work with. Now let me show you my sketch. This is, oh, Janet Fritz did this. Okay, uh, day 19, she is Galaxy Girl Creations on all of the socials. And let's see, we have a large piece here, another piece, a big circle, photos, title, embellishment clusters in a visual triangle. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. We can totally get that done. Now I do have a photo that I had in a different project that I recently took apart and I thought, hey, totally works. They're on vacation. I will use that one. And I have it kind of vintaged out a little bit, but you know, it'll still totally work. Sorry about the glare. Okay, so what I have to do first, you know, oh, actually I won't even mat this one because it's on a large white frame. So it's already matted. Photo corners will work when the time comes. I do have to color up my little lemonade sign um, to match the colors in the collection. You know, a nice bright yellow, a little bit of red, all of that. But we need to come up with our background. So probably this cardstock, you know, that's the easiest way to go about this. Great. And the papers, the way they were facing was the way I put them together. But you know, you can always flip them if you need to. But I do like this nice navy. Now, if I did do this very blinding yellow, that is a doable thing. This one already has a whole border around it. <laughs> now this just got interesting. This one's already bordered. I love a bordered paper and I don't wanna cut off the border. So I guess now this 49 and Market all of a sudden is my background. Okay. So let's cut a couple of blocks. I've got, let's, let's look at the blue first. And guys, we can always change this around. It doesn't even matter. Not measuring. I'm just getting myself a nice cut of this deep blue. Great. Because that gives our eye a place to rest just for a second, right? Then we've got these big old scraps that I think are super interesting. Um but they're mostly cut up. So let me get one more nice little wedge to work for our photo. Now, if I do this yellow and I go like this, it's totally broken up and that's not half bad. Now, the big block of the yellow is a lot for me because it's, it's very bright. So I could do that. Now, in her sketch, she has these two pieces touching. And then like the photo here, my daughter's facing kind of that way. So I would have her photo actually on this side and I still, I'd still go like that. Okay. I was just looking now, this could be that big circle. Where is guys, you guys know, you know how I recently rearranged my room. Oh, there it is. I was like, where is my three and a half inch circle punch? I can't put it into my punch drawers cause the thing is freaking massive. So let's go ahead and just do a nice, big, bright pop there. All right, so I have a circle there. It's kind of opposite day from what Janet said we had to do, but we're not going to pay attention to that right now. Then I can go ahead and map my photo with whatever scraps are big enough to map. So we can do that. Oh, and we still have these pieces too that we can map the photo. Perfect. Now, we've got a couple little pieces in here that are interesting to me that I think I'll go ahead and fussy cut. I like these little pieces with the stamps on them. You know, cute little layering pieces, they'll work. I have plenty of pieces with the Vicky Booten stuff. 
Um, but, you know, I always like itty bitty pieces too. So I have a couple of those pieces that I do like. All right, that's super cute. Um, I put this to the side, map my photos, do the wood piece, plop this down. Um, yum, 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 yum. And I'll, oh, guys, I, we also have these big doilies. I don't know if I can use them yet. Let me take a look once I mat the photo. Then this baby blue might be able to come in just a little better. Actually, this green is in these trunks too. Let's see about using up some of these doilies. Okay, I'm trying to do all the things. Let me get this base down, I'll be right back. Okay, so I have my foundation down. This little wood piece isn't tacked down yet. I just have kind of a place marker. I have my title, which is an acrylic piece, reads delightful, and it picks up this really nice aqua. I have got a large doily, so it does actually vibe the sketch. Can you believe it? Okay, so we have that. Now I wanna look at these little treasures here, these Vicky Booten, oh, and that was all done with uh, Distress Oxides. So I wanna see about photo here, any pieces, cause I can layer up something with this really great lemonade kind of cute the blue's not showing super well oh this is cute a nice little umbrella can go right there they're not doing drinky poos this is more of a beach thing oh that's cute it's a bit tone on tone but with a camera that can come together a little bit let's see they didn't need their passport but there's something cute about little passports the time isn't super important on that now a palm tree, ha ha ha, a palm tree's working because they were tropical. I like that, hold on, Ugh. sorry guys, I know my face is in here, but I, I dropped, what, what are these called, mostera leaves or something like that? All right, the palm tree doesn't have as much of an oomph as probably these bits with these big leaves and stuff. Okay, so I have that and now I need, let's see, in the sketch, there's a visual triangle, kind of here, kind of to the side. So I'll need a little something here. Let me bring this down. Okay, I like that. I can do the passport, have a nice pop of blue. I've got a little bit of good stuff there. Boom, boom, maybe here, 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 here. Maybe, I don't know. I kind of feel like, like this. Like that kind of a visual triangle. Okay, too big, but it does make sense. A nice little piece of luggage. She's about the color of the luggage there. She's nicely tanned. Ooh, this little floral piece there will work. You know, you give me florals and I'll end up being happy. So I can cut some of this bit here to have it stick out and a little bit of the orange can come over here too. This is totally just the way it works. Oh, at some point, there's a little adhesive on that butterfly. And then I said, nope. Oh, look at this hot stuff, the little coffee cup. Why does that make me happy? I don't know, but it's going on. Oh, and a little bubble tea. That reminds me of my other daughter, not this one. Let's roll. Oh, that's cute. This could be like the main title and that could be the secondary title. Very odd pigeon situation there. So Mostera, Mostera. Um, I don't think it'll add anything to put this Mostera there. Nope. Time to relax. Or let's roll. She has a shirt that uh, reads let's roll. So I kind of like that. Ooh, guys, look at the orange in these sunglasses. <gasps> How do we get that on? It has this little bit that you pop out. Hold on, hold on. And I could put a little glaze on the sunglasses to make them, um... ooh, wonder if I can do something down here. I kind of like the idea of them right next to them though, because they're, uh... oh, that's kind of cute. Because, you know, it's them. With the photo, they did go on an airplane, but we're starting to put too much stuff for, oh, that's cute, for no good reason. Okay, 
So I'm feeling pretty good there. I'm going to start tacking a few things down because it's getting a little overwhelming. It is. So I could even do something kind of like that because and put these florals down to separate the orange. I actually kind of like that. Okay, let me get these pieces down. Um, what else do we have to look at? Oh, I've got some fabricy fruity pieces, and I do have a couple of acrylic pieces that we can look at to see if I can get them in. I've got enamel dots. I've got some sequins. So let me get a few more of these pieces on. And I'll so the last thing I'm going to do on this layout is come in with a few little sequins. I did switch out the enamel dots that I had originally with the layout because they had a bit of an orangey red tone to them because I had some um, from a previous kit just sitting here that were bright red and that worked more with the vibe. So now I have this cute little sequin mix. I'm going to sprinkle some sequins around my clusters. And that will be that, my friends. So super cute, fun, whimsical, combining all kinds of designers and together it works. I love it. All right, guys, that's what I have. A few still shots to follow and I will see you guys ever so soon with another video. Bye for now, friends.